July is National Lost Pet Prevention Month and many pets go missing unfortunately on the 4th of July because the fireworks are so scary. So the Director of Community Partnerships at the Jacksonville Humane Society, Lindsay Landecker, is here to talk about how we can ensure our pets are safe and not scared this holiday. So thanks for joining us. Yes, absolutely. So, you know, pets and fireworks don't always mix. And so we can give you some great tips on how to keep your pets safe, keep them indoors, calm and happy. Perfect. And we've got Olivia here who has our beautiful dog of the day who is this. This is Xena. She is a queen, a blocky headed princess, if you will. She loves people and she's available for adoption at the Humane Society. She is so sweet too. We've been uh, petting her a little bit before we got started and has not barked. What a sweet little dog. Yes. Even though barking's normal, but you know, she's <laughs> just very, very quiet. All right, let's talk about how we can ensure our pets are safe this holiday on 4th of July. Yes, you definitely want to keep your pets indoors if you can. Um, if they're outside and they get spooked, they're going to want to run and they're going to want to run far. So keep them inside. You can close the curtains or the windows if you can block out the light because the light can also be scary oh. to your pet. If you can, um, maybe some background noise so you could turn on the TV, use white noise. Um, a white noise app on your phone works great. Just something to keep them away from that noise and that bright light. And let's say unfortunately they do get out. Obviously we've heard about microchipping for years mm -hmm. now, right? To be able to find a dog or if you find it uh, and you can bring it back to the owner or the shelter. Uh, but there's something else you want to tell us about. Yes, yeah, so pet Petco Love has an amazing tool called Petco Love Lost. It is a free facial recognition tool for pets, for lost and found pets. You can create an account for free. I have all of my pets registered. And if your pet goes missing, all you have to do is log in and hit missing. It's going to scan all the local shelters and any pet that's been registered as found to help you find matches. Okay, that was going to be my next question. You can register after the fact. Absolutely, yes. You can register after your pet's gone missing. I definitely recommend doing it first, but that's right. okay if your pet goes missing go ahead log in and register and would you have to take a picture of them I mean how, with the facial recognition I'm like how does that work yeah That's so pet. you want to take a picture but if you're like me you have a thousand pictures on True. your phone <laughs> so yeah. you just have to find one that works but you want to take one of them head on the website will walk you through the best okay. type of picture and let's talk about what's going on in July Lots of yes. op opportunities for adoption. What isn't going on in July at the Humane Society? We have free adoptions um, every single weekend. So hop on our website, follow us on social. If you are looking for a great deal and to save a life, we have it. All right. Thank you so much, Lindsay and yes. Olivia and Zena. Again, she is available for adoption. And you're just the sweetest little baby. Look at her. All right. Well, let's hope that uh, our pets stay inside and safe and they don't run away this 4th of July. But if you need to see this segment again, you know you can head to our website as well, firstcoastliving.net.